Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to unlock and root a Nexus 7. And first things first, if you're not familiar with XDA developers and you want to mess around with an Android device like the Nexus 7, then what the hell are you doing? XDA developers is an awesome website. It's got great forums, a great community, and a bunch of modifications. But anyway, back to the rooting. First thing you're going to need and this is literally so simple, it is not even funny how easy this is. When I first got my Nexus 7, I was um, a little bit worried about rooting it at first because it was a new device, I didn't want to do anything with it, and I waited a little bit too long, and I had to delete everything when I finally unlocked and rooted it. And I gotta say, really twisted my titties because it's incredible how easy this is. You're gonna want this program, it's called Google Nexus 7 Toolkit. And you can get it from XDA developers, and I'm going to put a link right here and in the description. And when you get this and install it, and this is on Windows only, by the way, this isn't available on Mac. You're going to get it and install it, and when you open it, you're going to get this program. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your Nexus 7 is not plugged into your computer. It can't be plugged in. and Because you need to install the drivers on your PC so it'll pick it up in ADB mode. And that's option number one. When you open the program, it'll ask you if you want to update. Just type no because you just downloaded the latest release. And then you're going to hit one, enter. And then it will tell you it's got all this information here. It's saying don't connect your device until you're ready, until the drivers are installed and everything. And to start it, you just choose the operating system you have over here, whether it's XP and Vista or Windows 7 and when you do that it'll go through a process it'll say it'll it'll pop up and tell you that the drivers aren't verified and if you really want to in, uh, install them just do that anyway because they're safe I promise you I've done it on two PCs everything works great nothing there's no issues with it at all but after you get that done you're gonna wanna open your settings on your Nexus 7 go scroll down to developer options in the top right corner, you're going to click the little tab and make it uh, and turn it on. And then under debugging, which is the second little menu there, you're going to click Android debugging. That way it will debug over the USB. As you can see, it just popped up right here. You have to have USB debugging enabled, otherwise it won't work. All right, once you got USB or you got USB debugging enabled you're gonna come back here and what you wanna do is you can back up and restore your device if you wanna do that if you wanna back up you're going to go to option 2 and then these are the different options over here that you can do to back up I didn't back mine up and I sort of regret it but if you do this from the get go right when you get a Nexus 7 it's not gonna matter and then you can restore them too alright first thing you gotta do is unlock your Nexus 7. You gotta unlock the bootloader and that's the process that deletes everything. You don't necessarily have to delete everything to root it, you just have to delete everything to unlock it and you can't root it without unlocking it. So, you gotta make sure you unlock it and so you go into option 3 and then option 1 and it'll tell you the, in, uh, the instructions on your tablet. It'll tell you what you want to do. You're going to need to when, you'll see it when it does it, but you're going to have like a different menu and to scroll up and down you use the volume keys and to select the item you're on you press the power button. It walks you through everything. It's a really, really simple process. And when you first click on this in the uh, toolkit, it's going to ask you if you're in fast boot mode and obviously you're not going to be. So if you type in no, it will reboot your tablet and put it into fast boot mode and then when it does, it will it will start after the unlocking process is done come back here and now we're gonna go into option four which is to root it and I suggest choosing option three which is or not three I'm sorry two which is to root the phone and install busybox because you're you're gonna wanna you're gonna need busybox and you might as well just do that so then we select option two and it's going to have the same thing where it's asking you if your phone's in fast boot mode. If it's not, type in no and it'll boot it into fast boot mode and then you start the procedure. 
It's going to take a while, but every it'll walk you through every single process on your tablet. It is incredibly simple. It is so simple. You don't even need to be tech savvy. It will walk you through everything you need to do. And after that, after you have it unlocked and rooted, you can do things like install custom firmware and or custom ROMs, which are most of them really cool because one thing I didn't like about the Nexus 7 was it's not a true tablet interface. It's the stupid ass phone interface which has always felt weird to me because a lot of times I wanted to hold it landscape but I couldn't you can get custom ROMs that will allow you to rotate it however you want and they're really cool and I'm thinking I'm gonna make a video about how to install custom ROMs and some of the best ones that you can find all on xdadevelopers.com thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a bunch of new videos um, with iPhones, Nexus 7, and Android, and also possibly video games. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment if you have any questions, and this is the end of this video.